Well, hello and welcome. I would like to speak to you about a watch that is incredible, that I have been dreaming of ever since it came out in 2001. It is the Harry Winston Francois uh, Paul Journe Opus 1 Tourbillon that we have the pleasure of offering in our Philips Watches Geneva auction of May 8 and 9. So this watch is so important on so many levels, both historically and technically. First of all, it is the brainchild of two geniuses. On one side, uh, Max Busser, who was then the CEO of, uh, of Harry Winston, a man who's not a watchmaker, but who has a huge respect for watchmaking and has an incredible horological knowledge. And you have François Paul Journe, a watchmaker of incredible talent and dexterity, but also a man with a vision. It is the meeting of these two men that created these masterpieces. It's also the story of a friendship. Journe in 2001 had just started his own brand and Busser suggested that they make a watch together. And the result is nothing short of extraordinary because in fact, it was not one watch, but three signature Journe timepieces that were dressed up in Harry Winston design. One was the chronometre à résonance, the other the réserve de marche with big date, and finally the present tourbillon souverain that we have the pleasure of offering. Now, let's not forget that in 2001, independent watchmakers were not known. They were known within the industry, they were making movements and complications for other brands, but their names were always hushed. With the Opus One project, Busser invited these independent watchmakers, and to start off with, with François Paul Jean, to sign their names on the movements and on the dials. And this really started a trend later on where brands were openly talking about who they have been partnering with. It was really a, a shift on the market. Also, in 2001, Jean was known by just a handful of real watch geeks who were uh, passionate about technical watchmaking, but he was not uh, the household name that he is today. He has come a long way in a very short, short amount of time. But just to speak about the watch, it is itself absolutely incredible. Technically, it's a tourbillon with a constant force escapement, the remontoir d'égalité, as uh, Jean dubs it. It is a system that allows a constant flow of energy onto the movement from the first minute of wind to the last uh, minute of wind, which enables the watch to have much greater uh, accuracy. And this is a system that nobody had seen in a, in a wristwatch before then. So once again, it shows the technical mastery of Jean and uh, the fact that Busser had uh, acknowledged it. The watch also is an absolutely gorgeous piece of design, not only uh, of, of mechanics. There were six unique pieces, two with uh, gem set bezels and four with non gem set bezels, but each with a different dial color. The one we have has an incredible blue dial, which can go from light blue to dark blue to even turquoise, depending on the angle you're, you're looking at it. It is absolutely a fascinating and you can, one can only be smitten by the beauty of this, uh, of this timepiece. It is technically impressive, aesthetically uh, arresting, and horologically and historically incredibly relevant.